Hi, welcome to the College of the Holy Cross. My name is Kevin Hamilton, and I'm a sophomore political science and Spanish double major with a Peace and Conflict Studies concentration. I'm so excited to lead you on a tour of our campus. Holy Cross is a Jesuit undergraduate liberal arts institution located in Worcester, Massachusetts and founded in 1843. I will be starting off the tour by talking about academics, study abroad, spiritual life, and dining before I pass it over to my friend Miley who will take you on a stroll down Linden Lane to talk about Worcester, the science complex, the library, and our new wellness center, The Joe. She will then pass it on to my friend Grace who will talk about student life, housing, and our brand new performing arts center. If you're watching this during the premiere, feel free to drop any questions into the YouTube chat and we will be answering them live. With that, I'll head on over to Smith Hall to talk about academics. As I mentioned, Holy Cross is a liberal arts institution. How we really embrace the liberal arts is through our common area requirements. So in addition to your major, minor, or concentration courses, students will take classes in a number of different areas, whether that be literature, history, mathematical or natural science, philosophy, religious studies, and foreign language. I like to refer to the liberal arts education as dribbling with your non-dominant hand. So you have your major, your minor, your concentration, that's what you're good at and that's what you like to do. And you're developing those skills. However, in addition to that, you're also taking courses in a number of different areas. And perhaps they're in departments where you don't know that you have an interest in it, or perhaps admittedly you aren't as good, but you're still developing those areas. And the idea is that when you leave Holy Cross, you have become a well-rounded candidate who will be able to succeed in whatever career you end up in. At Holy Cross, all first-year students come in undeclared, which I personally see as an all-around benefit, because even if you know exactly what you want to do, you can begin taking courses in those specific majors or areas, um, and you can begin to develop that side of you. However, if you have absolutely no idea what you want to do, which is equally okay, you can begin taking courses that satisfy some of those common area requirements, and perhaps in the process, you'll be able to find an interest and it could end up being your major, your minor, or your concentration. Um, at Holy Cross, we have 41 different majors and so many different minors. If there's something that you haven't found, you can also design your own major, minor, or concentration too. Um, our faculty to student ratio is 10 to 1 um, and that really, really emphasizes the way that our faculty are so accessible to our students. I have been so close and developed such close relationships with my faculty. Um, for example, I'm pursuing research with a professor that I met in my very first semester here at Holy Cross. Additionally, our, uh, our class size, our average class size is 19 students. Um, and so that really emphasizes a discussion-based kind of class and it helps to build community within the classroom. Finally, 97% of our faculty have terminal degrees in their field, so you're always learning from the experts. There are no TAs that teach here, so you're always getting that expert attention. The academics is one of the greatest things about a Holy Cross education and experience. Welcome to St. Joseph's Chapel. This is really where spiritual life has a home on our campus. Holy Cross is a Jesuit Catholic institution, and I say Jesuit first because even though Holy Cross is a Catholic school, what really shines here is the Jesuit mission and our Jesuit values. The motto of Holy Cross, which is also the motto of the Jesuits, is men and women for and with others. It's a commitment to service. A lot of our students here like to partake in service projects on campus, in the city, and in their home communities. However, I also feel that that motto really represents the warmth of the community here. All the students like to say hi to each other when they're walking to class. They hold the door open for each other. It's just a really, really positive place to be. 
The other motto of the Jesuits is cura personalis, care for the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. So while you're at Holy Cross, of course, you're here to earn an education and develop your mind, but you're also here to develop socially, make lifelong friends, and if you so choose, spiritually as well. And the idea behind that is that when you leave Holy Cross, you have become a good and a moral person to go and do good in the world. All of the activity that happens in St. Joseph's Chapel is overseen by the chaplain's office, um, and they are located in Campion House. The chaplains have a number of responsibilities um, in addition to overseeing everything here at St. Joseph's. Um, one of those is being a confidential resource for students who are in need of help. You can go and speak to them at any time. They have a number of drop-in hours and they're there as resources for our students. Additionally, Campion House looks like a house on the outside and inside. It's designed as a house. Um, it has a dining room, a kitchen, a living room, and it's a really a comfortable place for students to go to, especially if they're feeling homesick. You can go and do homework at the dining room table or sit on a comfortable couch during a club meeting. One of the student favorites about Campion House is, of course, the Campion cookies that are baked fresh every single day. Additionally, the chaplains oversee SPUD, which stands for Student Programming for Urban Development. It's a service, pro or, uh, excuse me, it's a service program um, that's designed to take Holy Cross students and bring them into the city of Worcester to do a number of different service-oriented things there. It's to better the local community that's around our campus, which is really wonderful. Additionally, we have a community-based learning component, which is a part of a number, a number of classes here. And what's that, what that is designed to do is do a similar thing. As part of a class, a requirement is to go out into the city of Worcester and work with a local organization to better the community at large. Lastly, the chaplains oversee the Joyce Contemplative Center, which is a retreat facility located 15 minutes away in West Boylston, Massachusetts. And even though you're 15 minutes away from the city center, you feel like you're in a place completely remote. It sits on top of a hill overlooking the reservoir, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have to say, to wake up and enjoy the sunrise at the JCC has been one of my favorite memories here at Holy Cross. And with that, we'll head on down to Kimball Dining Hall and talk a little bit about dining. Welcome to Kimball Dining Hall. Kimball is the main dining hall here on campus and it's where the majority of students get the majority of their meals. We have plenty of dining options here and some of the meal options include the classic station where you can get um, more like home cooked style meals and that changes with every meal as well as with every day. One of the student favorites is chicken parm and you can actually find a line of students wrapped around the dining hall because it's just that good. Additionally, there are a number of meals that stay the same throughout the day. That would be hamburgers, hot dogs, grilled chicken, pasta, pizza. There's a stir-fry station where you can pick everything you want and then they'll cook it right in front of you. And they're doing all-day omelets with the same thing. You can pick everything you want and they'll cook it right in front of you. Kimball breakfast is really, really great too. Um, and they make eggs to order um, and fresh, fresh pastries. Additionally, Kimball Dining Hall over the past few years has been rated one of the seven healthiest dining halls in the country. Um, so healthy dining is an option here, however, as I just mentioned, it's juxtaposed by our fresh bakery, which bakes fresh pastries and desserts every single day of the week. If you have any dietary restrictions or allergies, you can speak to the dietitian and nutritionist here at Kimball, and they will do a really, really great job at accommodating any request. Below us is what is known as Lower Kimball, and that is our food court option here at Holy Cross. There are a number of different stations there, a Mexican, a grill, a sushi station, and a Little Italy, where you can get some really, really great food too. In addition to these two locations, there are a plenty of different locations across campus at Hogan in the Science Complex where Miley will take you next. So if you like to eat, Holy Cross is a really great place to be. In terms of our meal plans, all first year students are put on the residential meal plan, which means that you get unlimited meal swipes into Kimball Main Dining Hall. So you can come in as many times of the day as you want and you can get as much food as you want given that it's buffet style. 
at Lower Kimball and at a couple different locations elsewhere. You also get eight meal swipes that can be used at those locations each week. Lastly, in addition to the meal swipes, you're given 425 dining dollars to be used throughout the semester at any location as well as in the lobby shop, which is our campus convenience store. So that's all about dining, and with that, I'll be turning it over to Miley, who will take you on a stroll down Linden Lane. Thank you so much to Kevin for passing that off. Hi everyone, my name is Miley Sitt, and I'm a freshman here at Holy Cross. I'm from Great Neck, New York, and I'm currently studying psychology and Chinese. At Holy Cross, I am an intern for the Asia Student Union on campus. I have a radio show with WCHC, and I am a SPUD volunteer at the Nativity School in Worcester. Speaking of Worcester, there are so many great things that students can do here. Holy Cross actually sponsors shuttles for students to utilize to go to different places around Worcester. For example, every day, students can go to Blackstone Valley Shops where there's a Target and a Barnes & Noble, or they can go to Walmart, or those shuttles will also take students to their SPUD sites if they want to volunteer. Alongside those, the shuttles actually do take students to the Worcester Public Market and a frequent fan favorite, Birch Tree Bread Company. In Worcester, we also have our new Polar Park, which so students can go watch the Woo Sox play during their season, and also the DCU Center, where students can attend live events and watch concerts. For transportation, only juniors and seniors are allowed to have their car on campus. However, public safety is really great about being flexible and accommodating students when they require a car here on campus. Now that we've talked about Worcester, let's head over to the Science Complex. Welcome to the Science Complex, everybody. So in the Science Building, it houses a lot of many different departments, such as chemistry, biology, computer science, or mathematics, and also the social sciences, like sociology, anthropology, or psychology. I tend to spend a lot of time doing my work in here, like for my Montserrat, which is a really integral experience for all first years here. The Montserrat class consists of a really small class size, which about, which about 15 to 16 students, and it's all first year students, so you get to really meet students in your own grade. You also live with them in your dorms. So each Montserrat has a different focus, also fulfilling a common requirement. I personally really love my Montserrat, where I get to basically read comics and watch superhero movies and analyze the visual elements of each. All the Montserrat here are really wonderful, and a lot of students love to partake in them. It's really easy to get close with your classmates and learn so much that you might not even think you'd learn in college. The professors are really great and you're able to form a great relationship with them and they're super flexible and willing to help you. Let's go head over and we can learn more about the science building. Another great part about Holy Cross is our study abroad program. Holy Cross has four different programs. The semester program, a year-long program, a May Master, and a semester away program. For the year-long and the semester program, students can live in a dorm or with a host family. For the semester away programs, these are located in Washington, D.C. or New York, and students have an internship and attend a seminar. For the May Master, about 20 students will travel alongside a professor to, and study a, an array of different topics for the entire month of May. Something to note about our study abroad program is that your GPA will freeze while you're abroad, but you will get credit for all the courses that you take there. Some places that students love to go to for study abroad include Italy, Japan, China, Germany, or even France, but those options, those are not the only options. Now that we've talked a little about study abroad, let's head upstairs. We are here next to some of our labs where Holy Cross students do their coursework and also can do research. Holy Cross has a summer research program called the Weiss Summer Research Program where about 100 students will come back in the summer and do research on a topic that they devise themselves. Holy Cross also has great pre-professional programs. These include pre-health, pre-law, and pre-business. But Holy Cross also offers the Teacher Education Program and the 3-2 Engineering Program. In these, students will work one-on-one -on -one with an advisor, attend workshops, and do coursework that is relevant to their track. Holy Cross's 
pre-professional programs really prepare students for postgraduate opportunities when they go to grad school. About 80 to 90 percent of these students, depending on their track, will go into grad school. Now that we've talked about research and pre-professional programs, let's head over to Diamond. Welcome to Dynan Library. Dynan can actually see one third of the whole student body at any given time. Dynan has over 600,000 volumes and over 2,600 journals. Because Holy Cross is part of the Worcester Consortium and the Interlibrary Loan Program, students who can't find any books that they need here can actually get them from a different school or another resource because of this consortium and program that we're part of. Dynan also has the has research librarians that students can utilize to do any research, the writer's workshop to review any papers or essays, and also the STEM Plus E workshop for STEM majors. Dynan is open for, normally from 7.30 a.m. to 2 a.m., but during finals week, it's actually open 24-7. Now, let's head over to my favorite place on campus, the Joe. All right, everybody, welcome to the Joe. Like I said, it is my personal favorite place on campus. I love to come here every day. It is a brand new recreation and wellness center built last summer for all students, faculty, and staff to use. At the Joe, you can find students working upstairs where there's an indoor track that's one-tenth of a mile, downstairs by the squat racks, but the Joe also has basketball courts where students love to participate in club sports or intramural sports for a more pickup and casual experience. Holy Cross is also a D1, has D1 athletic teams where they practice up at the Luth Athletic Complex on the top of the hill. The Luth Athletic Complex has over 100 yards of turf, new gymnasiums for basketball and volleyball, an ice skating rink, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. There is always a game for students to go to on the weekends and have some fun and show their Holy Cross pride. At the basement of the Joe, we have the Office of Public Safety. The Office of Public Safety helps keep this campus really safe. We, Holy Cross is a self-contained campus and is very well lit, and we also run on the blue light system, which can be found around campus, especially at residence halls. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Grace, who's gonna talk about the Hogan Campus Center, residence halls, and our new, but still under construction, Performing Arts Center. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Miley, so much for passing it off. Hi, everyone, I'm Grace Aquilano. I'm a senior theater and English double major from Staten Island, New York. In addition to being a tour guide, I served as the co-chair of production for Alternate College Theater, which is the only student-run theater organization on campus. We produce a fall play and a spring musical. I also act in the Fenwick department in Alternate College Theater Productions, and I served as a fall orientation leader for first-year students this past August. As a reminder, please feel free to send any questions in the chat as we go along. Now we're going to head into Hogan and I'm going to talk about student life. So hi everyone, welcome to the Hogan Campus Center. I always like to say that students will walk through Hogan at least three times a day. So here we have the hub, which is a place for students to have group meetings and open dialogue. Also in the basement of Hogan, we have two dining options. We have the pub, which serves salads, grain bowls, and wraps, and Crossroads, which definitely sells a little bit more unhealthy food, such as pizza, chicken fingers, and french fries. And a lot of students uh, like to come here for lunch. Now I'm going to take you guys up to the first floor and talk about Cool Beans in the bookstore. So here we are on the first floor of Hogan. As you can see, we have Cool Beans, which is our very own campus coffee shop. Students can actually order their coffee or bagel to go um, through the Grubhub app. And also on the first floor of Hogan, we have the Holy Cross Bookstore. In addition to all the awesome Holy Cross gear you can buy there, you can actually order your textbooks at the beginning of each semester to be picked up at the bookstore, which is super convenient. Also on the first floor, we have um, our very own post office, so when students come to Holy Cross, they are assigned a P.O. box number, and that number stays with them throughout all four years of college. So once you tell your family members what your mailbox number is, it stays with you all the way up until you graduate. Now I'm going to take you guys on to the second floor and talk about some of the offices that we have here in Hogan.
Welcome to the second floor of Hogan. As you can see, there are several offices I want to talk about here. The first is the Center for Career Development, so all Holy Cross students can come here to use their services in all their four years. They help with job search, resume building, and even mock interviews in their senior year. Something I really want to stress is the Holy Cross Alumni Network. Holy Cross alums want to hire Holy Cross students. We actually have our very own version of LinkedIn called HC Connections, where Holy Cross students can search for prominent alumni in the field that they want to go into. Another office I want to talk about is the Counseling Center. So the Counseling Center offers free counseling services for all Holy Cross students. All they have to do is send an email to the center or phone in and they can make an appointment. Now I want to talk about OSI. Here at Holy Cross, we have over 100 recognized student clubs and organizations. At the beginning of each academic year, we have a club and activities fair for first year students where they can come and sign their name on an email list and start attending meetings. Finally, the next office I want to talk about is the Office of Multicultural Education, and they do student programming diversity work. Now we're going to head over to the Pride Performing Arts Center and talk about the performing arts. Hi everyone, welcome to the brand new Prior Performing Arts Center. So our brand new Arts Center is scheduled to open later this year in fall 2022. It's gonna have a 400 seat concert space as well as a 200 seat um, flexible performance space. Currently, all of our performing arts facilities are held in Fenwick. Fenwick Theater seats about 250 viewers and that's where the Fenwick Theater Department puts on their productions. And we also have the Pit, which is a, a theater located in the basement of Fenwick and it seats about 50 to 60 people. And that's where Alternate College Theater puts on their productions. Every year, Fenwick Theater puts on a fall play, a winter musical, and a spring play. Currently, the, the department is doing Our Town by Thornton Wilder, and it's scheduled to open next week, April 7th. Once this space opens, though, for student use, all of the performances will be held here in our brand new center. One more thing I would like to mention is in O'Kane, we have the Cantor Art Gallery, which opened in 1983, and it houses student and faculty art exhibitions. Now I'm going to take you guys to Healy, and we're going to talk about residence life. So now I'm going to talk about residence life. So what we are in right now is what a typical first year bedroom would look like. As you can see here, we have two beds, a closet and a dresser, as well as two desks. So we are in Healy Hall, and that's one of the five residence halls we have here on Easy Street. We like to call it Easy Street because it is the flattest road on campus. As I said, we have five underclassmen residence halls here on Easy Street. We have Healy and Lehigh, which are sophomore residence halls, as well as Clark, Hanselman, and Brooks, which are three first year residence halls. So every single residence hall is co-ed and single gendered by floor. At Holy Cross, we use a swipe system to get into our residence halls. So every student will have to swipe into their respective building, then their floor, and then each set of roommates will get a punch code that gets into their individual bedroom. So it's super safe and super secure. Also, all residence halls come with laundry services, which are free, so there's no swipes and no coins, as well as study rooms, kitchens, and other social spaces with TVs where students can just hang out and have a good time. Also on campus, we have two senior apartments, Figgy and Williams Hall. So those are set up a little bit differently. There is a common room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And those are co-ed by floor because, you know, there's private bathrooms. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna take you guys out and we're gonna finish out the tour. Thanks so much for joining us on this live guided tour. Before we officially close out, I just want to end and talk about why I chose Holy Cross. So my college search was a little bit different than most people. My dad is actually a high school college guidance counselor, so college was a dinner time topic for many years in my house. Um, but there were so many reasons that drew me to Holy Cross. Um, to name a few, the size. Um, Holy Cross is about 3,000 students, so I like to say that it's small enough where wherever I go on campus, I'm constantly seeing my friends. But even as a senior, I'm still meeting new people, which was something that was really important to me. Also, I was really drawn to the school spirit. I knew I wanted to go to a small school with a Division I atmosphere, and Holy Cross is just that. Students get to go to games for free, and it's something I like to do with my friends on the weekends. Once again, thank you all so much for joining us, and we're going to leave the live, the live stream going for just a bit, and feel free to send any questions you still have in the chat. Thank you again. Bye.